What is happening, Avid Armor fam? Thank you all so much for joining us for our Amazon Live today. And boy, do we have something special in store for you. We are going to show you how to cook the absolute best steak you've ever had. So this right here is a 22 ounce ribeye. Look at all that marbling, all that flavor. It's just gonna be such a good steak. And this machine right here is what's gonna do it for us. This is the Magic Vac Jumbo 30 Evo Plus. Uh, it's a gorgeous machine. It's part of our um, exclusive partnership with Magic Vac, uh, which is an Italian based company. They're actually the original creators of the original vacuum sealing system. And just by the looks of it, you can tell just how gorgeous of a machine it is. It's a full stainless steel body, double pump, 13 and a half inch seal bar. It's just an all around beast of a machine. This was made for the hunters, the fishers, the outdoorsmen. Just, this is just a beast of a machine. So it fits perfectly with what we're gonna be doing today. Now, if you guys want to, feel free to introduce yourself in the chat over, over on the side. Right there, we'll be answering questions and talking to you guys uh, throughout today. So feel free to introduce yourself. Like I said, ask questions. And if you want to purchase the Magic Vac Jumbo 30 or any of our bags, this is our 8x12 uh, vacuum sealer bag we're going to be using. Everything's going to be linked down below. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start off seasoning this steak. Um, so like I said, this is a 22 ounce ribeye. So we're going to need a lot of seasoning to really get that flavor uh, nice and deep in there. So what I have here is I have a mixture of uh, salt, pepper and garlic powder and we're really going to want to load this steak up with all sorts of seasoning so we can just go ahead and just take it to town get a little salt bay action going just yes i'm sure i looked cool doing that now here at avid armor we're known for our cheesy jokes so i got one for you guys right so if cows took over this country what would it be called? What would they name it? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone in the comments? No? Okay. The United States of America. Yeah. No? Okay. All right. And now that that first side is nice and seasoned, we're just going to flip it over and do the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. And then you really want to just rub it in there just so all that flavor penetrates the steak. And just look how thick of a steak this is going to be. This is going to be perfect for sous vide. All of that's just going to end up as a nice medium rare all the way red throughout. It's going to be so fun, guys. I'm so excited to get this on the road. All right. Now that we have it all seasoned up nice, we're gonna throw this in to our eight by 12 quart vacuum bag, right? So we're just gonna take our bag. Actually, let's take our steak first. And we're just gonna toss it right in there. Let me move this out of the way. All right. Now, one thing to note when you put uh, anything that has any sort of moisture into a vacuum bag is you want to make sure you keep the seal area clean. So if you can tell right here, uh, I did get some seasoning and a little bit of moisture on that seal area right where the bag is going to get sealed. So what we want to do is we want to clean that off. So you can take a paper towel, a washcloth, whatever, and we're just going to wipe it right there. And that just ensures we get the absolute best seal we can on this bag. All right. All right. And now it's time to seal this up. All right. So like I said, this is our Magic Vac Jumbo 30 Evo Plus. It's one of our newer machines. So it's, it's a hot commodity right now. So what you want to do is you want to take your steak 
and you want to leave a little bit of headroom in your bag whenever you vacuum sealing anything just so you have that area uh, for that seal to take place. So you're going to place your bag inside the vacuum channel, which is this little red area right here. I can take it out. Right, so you want to place the edge of your bag right there. And then this gold part right here is your seal bar. So that's actually what's going to um, seal the bag shut. So it's just going to heat up for a short amount of time and put a nice airtight seal on that. So you want to close the lid. This one is really nice because it has a dual locking lid on both sides uh, and it also has levers on each side as well. So if you want to unlock it, you can just press in on both sides and it pops back up just like that. So let me just reposition it. All right. And then we're just going to run an auto vac and seal cycle and this should give us a really, really tight vacuum on this bag. Whew. Look at that. All right, that's going to seal it real quick. And you'll notice as well, uh, if you're ever wondering if your bag is placed correctly, it has a nice little window uh, you can look through just to make sure your bag is where it should be. So now it's done sealing, so now we're going to take it out. And look at that. Look how nice and tight of a vacuum is on that steak. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this steak and submerge it in a water bath using a sous vide circulator. And we are going to um, do a little scene change real quick. Um, so we're going to play a little short ad we've prepared for this Magic Vac Jumbo 30 Evo Plus while we mix some stuff around. So if you guys just give us a little bit of time, we'll be right back. And now we are back. We have our sous vide uh, bath and our sous vide circulator. So just to explain a little bit what all this is, what all is happening right here, because I know if you've never seen this before, it can look a little weird. So pretty much we filled this plastic tub with water and because uh, of this, what's called an immersion circulator, um, it's heating the water and rotating it around in this tub to keep it at a, at a consistent temperature, right? So say you want to cook a steak, uh, for instance, we're going for a medium rare steak, so we're going to do about 128 degrees. So this um, circulator heats this water at 128 degrees and it holds it there. It never goes hotter. So when you put this in, there is absolutely no way you can overcook your steak. Um, so if you want like a medium steak, you'd go closer to like 135, 140, etc. Um, but like I said, it's pretty much a set it and forget it thing. There's no way you can really overdo it when you use this method, which is perfect. It's one of the biggest benefits to sous vide. Um, you can go, just set it in there, go uh, play some video games, go watch football. I guess that's all, I guess that's all I really do. Um, so, like I said, we actually have one that's been cooking. Um, and if you're doing a steak of this size, so like I said, this is about a pound and a half, 22 ounce ribeye, um, you're gonna wanna set it in there for some time. So this has been in here for about three hours. Right, and, it, and that time uh, varies depending on what you're cooking, right? So if you're cooking like a roast or uh, something big like a huge rack of ribs or anything like that, you're going to want to leave it in there for, some people do 24, 48, even 72 hours 
Um, but that just allows uh, the temperature to become completely even all the way throughout. And you get, and I, I'm telling you guys, you get like the, the most tender piece of steak you can possibly imagine. Um, a lot of people do this with a, a very cheap cut, like an eye of round, and they do long cook times on it, and it comes out as tender as a filet. Sous vide is really just an amazing technology, and it's just, it's just mind blowing how it works. So, like I said, um, we've had one cooking in here for about uh, three hours, and I'm gonna take it out and just show you guys the color difference um, of when uh, you cook it for that long. So, oh, oh. If you take it out, right? So this is what it looks like after it's been cooked, right? And this is what it looked like before it went in, right? So you can tell there's a huge color difference there. And that, that shows you that it worked. That shows you that the sous vide process worked and everything is perfect. So now this is 128 degrees all the way throughout, edge to edge. And uh, I'll cut this open and we'll rearrange things here in a second. Um, but I know it doesn't look the greatest right now, but I promise once we dry it off, get a nice ripping hot sear on it, get a nice flavorful crust. Like I said, it's gonna be the best steak we've ever had. All right, so we're gonna do one more quick scene change just to get this taken down, get a pan on, uh, get it nice and hot for you guys, and we'll be right back. There's a joint on the corner where the big boys play, where the whiskey's falling under the river, but they all never come for the booze and bass. I'm the one, I'm the lady that'll rock this place. That'll rock this place. That'll rock this place. Rock this place. All right, and boom, just like that, we are set up with another scene change. So I'm gonna give you guys just a quick close up of this steak just so you can see how it looks before we sear it. And like I said before, I know it's not the prettiest looking thing right now, but I, I promise you guys the crust and all the flavor that's gonna come out when we sear this, it's gonna look gorgeous. I'm talking steakhouse quality gorgeous. All right, so here, let's do this. So. Uh, when it comes out of the sous vide bath, uh, one of the biggest things is that it's going to be uh, still really, really juicy, right? And when, you, when you're trying to get a sear, moisture is the enemy, right? Moisture is not going to give you a good sear at all. So we want to dry this off first. So you can just take some paper towels uh, and just lightly just dab it off. Right? Then after this, what we're going to do is we're going to put a uh, bonding agent on it, right? And that bonding agent is actually going to be mayonnaise. Now, I know, I know what everyone's thing, saying, you're going to put mayonnaise on a steak, right? They've heard of ketchup on a steak, but mayonnaise? Really? Really? And yes, yeah, so that, that mayonnaise is actually going to um, act as a bonding agent, and the proteins in it are going to help develop that gorgeous crust that I've been talking about. So after we dry it off, I'm going to do a little bit more. Turned out my pan just a tiny bit. There we go. All right. And now we just have a, a little cup of mayonnaise. And we're just going to take a butter knife and just spread it right on there. Now, I promise you guys, 
once you do this and once you sear it, you will not be able to taste the mayonnaise. It's kind of like putting it like on a grilled cheese. It just helps you get that really nice and golden crust on the steak. So there you go. And then just flip it over and do the other side real quick. And you don't need a lot, just, just enough to lightly coat the surface. And then also, so we have a pan right here too that we just put some avocado oil in, right? And that avocado oil is gonna help the mayonnaise develop that crust, but it's also gonna co help control the smoke. So this is great if you also live in an apartment and you don't wanna set off your fire, uh, your fire alarms, uh, because I've done that plenty of times. Uh, but now that we found olive oil, uh, sorry, avocado oil, it makes the whole process so much better. All right, so that oil is ripping hot. We have our steak. We're gonna go ahead and just toss this in here. And I just want you guys to take a second just to hear about, just to hear the sear that we're gonna get on this, right? So when you put it in, it should sound a little something like this. Oh, that crust is gonna be so good, guys. And we wanna do this for 20, 30 seconds aside, maybe. This isn't cooking the steak any more than it, uh, it was already cooked. This is still gonna be 128 degrees when we cut into it. This is just solely to develop that crust on it. And then we're just gonna take a bite and enjoy it. And I'm so excited, guys. Oh. Clean this up. And another thing that's important too is that you give it that full 30 seconds. You don't want to be lifting it up, taking it off the heat. You just want to rest. I know you've already waited three hours for the steak, but it's super important that you just let it sit in the pan and just develop that crust. And then while that's happening, do we have any questions or anything like that on Amazon? No, we're okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh -huh. And then just a reminder too, everything is linked down below the Magic Vac Jumbo 30 Evo Plus, our eight by 12 quart bags. Everything is just down below so you can click through on Amazon right now and just get it like that. All right, I'm gonna peek this. Guys, are, are you ready for this? Like, are you ready for this? Let's go, go to the top down, let's, let's do this, right? If that is not the most beautiful crust you've ever seen on a steak, then you are lying because that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. We're going to give this the same 20, 30 second sear and then we're just going to take it off. We're going to let it rest for a couple of minutes just because it's still going to be really hot when we take it off that skillet and then cut into it and it's just going to be an absolute stellar time, guys. Now is also a good time if you want to add some more flavor to it. We're not going to do it now, but you can add some, uh, some butter, some garlic, some rosemary, and just toss it in and just let it baste a little bit. Um, that's traditionally done when you uh, just pan sear or reverse sear a steak like this, but you can still do it when you sous vide a steak and all that flavor is going to go into it. I like, I like a very like meaty uh, flavor to my steak, so I'm not going to bother it. That's why I went kind of uh, simple with the seasonings, just salt, pepper, garlic powder, and all that. So I believe, let me double check. I did it twice in a row. Let's go top down. Yeah, yeah, ready? Look at that, you can see it just sizzling off the steak. So that is perfect. We're gonna take this off right now, guys. And we're just gonna let this rest for a few moments. I'm gonna get cleaned up real quick just so I have a little more space to work when we cut into the steak. And I can't tell you guys the smell that, oh, the smell that's coming off the steak is just, like nothing compares to it. Nothing compares to it at all. 
So like I said, this is going to be very hot, right? So I'm going to touch it just because I've done this plenty of times, but be very careful um, when you take it off that skillet because it's still going to be very, very hot. And because we sous vide it and kept it under vacuum for so long, when we cut it, it might not have that medium red color, but as soon as it gets exposed to oxygen, it's going to, uh, all that color is going to race back into the steak. And then within moments, it'll be that perfect medium rare that we were going for. So I'm going to cut into it real quick. All right. There we go. We've got a nice meat cleaver here. Oh, that crust feels so good, guys. So yeah, if you, if you want a, a way to cook either an expensive steak where there's no chance of you messing it up, this is by far the way to do it. Like there's nothing that even comes close to this. And I'll show you. Uh, when you do a reverse sear or you do a pan sear on a steak, um, you get almost like a smoke ring on the steak. So you get an area of gray uh, from the edge of the steak uh, in that takes away some of the, the medium rareness, if you will. So I'll show you here in a second, right? So here. So right there. So if you can notice, this looks a little more medium, but we're just going to give this a, a couple, like a minute maybe, and all this redness will come back into the steak. But I mean, look how gorgeously cooked this was, guys. It is just a stellar thing. This is one of my favorite weeknight uh, meals, or if you're having like a date night or anything, this is the perfect way to, to impress that special someone or whatever it is you guys do. And here we go. And while this is uh, coming up to temp a little bit, I'm just going to take a bite of it because I'm impatient. So let's go ahead. Take a nice little cut. There we go. And I'm going to just note one more thing too. If you can just see how juicy this cutting board is right here, just how much juice is coming off this steak still, like it is all like in there. So here, let's try a bite. We did it, guys. We did it. Ah, excuse me, one sec. Oh, sorry. Uh, that is such a tender and flavorful steak. It's, like I said, it's a gorgeous edge-to-edge -edge cook on it. There's really the nothing, nothing like comes close to, to doing something sous vide. So like I said, if you wanna purchase our Magic Vac Jumbo 30 Evo Plus, the links will be down below as well. Um, same thing with our quart vacuum bags. Uh, don't forget to, to like our Amazon stream, follow us. Uh, we'll be live streaming here very shortly in the upcoming weeks. So um, follow us to get notified when we do that. I'm gonna go enjoy the steak. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. It's been Parker with Avid Armor. We'll see you next time.